Hurricane Matthew is visiting with its remnants in Piscataway, New Jersey. However, the crowd is flocking in for number four Michigan, the unbeaten Wolverines, to take on the Scarlet Knights. That logo right there, the jump man, that doesn't hurt recruiting. Certainly doesn't. We saw the big truck visiting here as well as Jabril Peppers is into the game. We have seen him a number of places already, and he's streaking down the sideline right now. Inside the 25-yard line, on the gas pedal inside the five. Jabril Peppers, who's returned a punt, been involved in the defense now, goes barreling for 63 yards. Well, when your offense is kind of slopping around a little bit, go ahead and get Jabril Peppers into the game, and. He doesn't even give the football up. I think that is a tremendous play in this weather to create some kind of a spark. We knew we would see him sooner or later. That's a great look at it. And sometimes he will go out into the slot a little bit, and there's even rumors that he can throw the football as well. He is a one-man band for Michigan. He's got him inside the five-yard line. On the toss. Touchdown, Michigan. Ty Isaac on the board for the Wolverines after the Peppers set up. Henry Poggi was in the game as a fullback, really did a great job of sealing the edge, and that's that's quintessential. Michigan has had kicking questions, thought maybe it would be Ryan Tice starting, who got the last attempt last week. It's Kenny Allen knocking in the extra point, but Jabril Peppers, the Swiss Army knife for Michigan, Rambles 63 yards down the sideline to set up the touchdown. The Wolverines lead first. This is what Michigan intends to do tonight. Kind of a safety linebacker hybrid defensively, and that's going absolutely nowhere. Taco Charlton with more impressive penetration. Second down. So Laviano playing in another new offense as Rutgers has flipped coaches one more time. Laviano incomplete over the middle into traffic off the deflection and it's fourth down coming up. High kick at the 44. Peppers dodges one. Flag comes in. Peppers keeps his feet. Oh my goodness, what a return that may not count. <laughs> talk about rule number one and see rule number one is rule number two why would you kick the ball down the middle of the field to that guy even though it's probably probably coming back second down toss for Isaac he scored earlier and he picks his way across the 45 for a first down Michigan by way of Ohio State Spate up in the pocket again on the launch to the end zone. And it is caught. Touchdown. What a grab by J.U. Chesson. It's hard to get much better than that. Spate was again moving up in the pocket and throws a dart right into the front shirt pocket of Chesson out wide. And it actually kind of cleaned up his read a little bit because as he stepped up in the pocket, it really cleared out because the safety went with the seam in the middle of the field and he had Chesson by himself outside. But Harbaugh talked about Wilton Spade is a good, maybe bordering line, great deep ball thrower. Kenny Allen for the extra point. And Michigan has jumped on Rutgers with a 14-0 lead. The TCU transfer has checked in for Rutgers and goes with a jet sweep that goes nowhere. Jabril Peppers and Mike McCray swallow up Harris. Second down coming up. Even though we're still looking for playmate. Rutgers, three pass completions last week at Ohio State. Allen under the gun, whips it out of bounds, and that's no fun to check in for. Peppers bringing pressure, and down goes Allen. Michigan with another sack, Ben Gideon, and a flag comes in before the end of quarter number one. Allen from the end zone, on the run. Allen 
has the first down, lost the football. It's on the ground, and the battle for it goes to the Wolverines. of Jersey product Jabril Peppers who's in the game after the turnover Peppers on the roll cuts it inside and touchdown Jabril Peppers he knifes through for a score well, Michigan is all for the more they can use Peppers the better and I think this was a legitimate pass. Play action, he had Grant Perry running a one-man route to the corner of the end zone. If it's clean, you tell Peppers to throw it. If not, you go ahead and turn him loose on anybody that tries to tackle him. Stranded on an island with Jabril Peppers is not high on your list as a freshman. 21-0, your score, Michigan, the lead. In amazement of his football IQ. One of the Jersey Hall for Michigan. He was not Harbaugh's recruit, but he certainly helps you build no on the Jersey recruiting pipeline. Third down 11 for Allen and the offense. Free runner coming, and the ball is whipped incomplete. Guess who that free runner was? It was the nickel. It was Peppers once again. Well, if the number on his jersey signals positions he plays, he has undersold it. No doubt about it. What a tremendous treat to watch him play. He is back to return the punt. There's a flag down, and Peppers waves it off. You know a little part of this is Jim Harbaugh unleashing the jersey kid. It's tremendous. It's at 70 yards already, and not even to halftime yet. Evans bursting through. Chris Evans, the freshman, zigzagging through the defense. Inside the five and down to the one-yard line. 44 yards of magic. Chris Evans is one of four or five running backs that have carried the football, and he's their speed guy. That's an element that changes angles on the defensive line of scrimmage and he's a guy that can also obviously well that's an answer that doesn't come until very late in the season Hill gives it one more shot and let's see no signal yet touchdown Khalid Hill is their closer when they get deep down in the plus five let's say he's their short yardage Goal line type of guy, their red zone guy. That was his sixth touchdown this year. And he's a big bodied guy, too. Another unique guy to hand the football to. 6'2, 265 pound fullback, and can carry it and run nice routes and has really good hands. And if you need a yard, you call on him. 12 carries, 20 yards, six touchdowns. And Michigan's going to get a couple points off this. Why not? Garrett Moore is the holder. Everything's coming up maize and blue in the first 18 minutes of this game. Moores, take it yourself. Big lead for Michigan. John, the offensive line is decent, but the lack of playmakers in an offense that's designed to put playmakers in space and minimize the, at, the impact of a defensive line of scrimmage. Oh, oh Kenny and shot out of a cannon. Wow. There are cannons blushing. And Gideon is a great example of a find that Don Brown came up with because he had really not much of an impact. He brought with him from Ohio State, Kenny Parker, the strength and conditioning coach that worked with Urban Meyer and that program. And the changes are starting to happen already. Look at Tariq Cole, the left tackle. He came in seven months ago. Win. An undefeated team. The group of five chances now at the college football playoff dwindled greatly 
with Houston's loss as Spate serves it up down the middle and a jump ball inside the 10-yard line. What a beautiful grab by Amara Darbo against Austin. So many times it comes down to who plays the football better in the air. This is tremendous coverage by Austin. You really can't do it any better than that, but at the end of the day, he kind of trips a little bit. 29 nothing. Wouldn't be a bad time to work on your field goal kicker. 0 for 3 last week in a kicking game. Hill up the middle, puts his head down, and they're going to say he is short, the far side official waving overhead. Now, touchdown. They stopped the play, came in, and signaled touchdown, Michigan. It would be difficult to keep Hill out of the end zone at 265 pounds when there isn't initial penetration by Rutgers on the defensive line of scrimmage. Michigan's offensive line did a good job of stopping that penetration. Michigan tacks out another. 36 nothing the Wolverines number four in the country the Michigan defense that's elite their championship ask the question down the road for Michigan does their offense come forward enough to match that and this team be a potentially a college football playoff team Rutgers in search of its first first down and it will not get there. Robert Martin tackled. And you talk about the elite level of his defense. Jordan Lewis, the corner, has made two tackles. First down for Michigan. Evans showing burst again. And Evans crashing across the 35 for another Michigan first down. University's play in America. Tuesday, 10 Eastern on ESPN. Streaming live on Watch ESPN as well. It's something very close to Barack Obama's heart and something in the country that's bubbling up as well. A, a very important discussion to be had this week. Second down for Michigan, leading 36 to nothing. Remember, Michigan came here a couple of years ago and lost. It was a different regime, certainly, but there is institutional knowledge for Michigan of that loss. Spate has had tons of time. He goes to the sideline for Darbo and a first down for Michigan. Toss from Spate. Eddie McDoom on the run, the freshman, to about the five yard line. Peppers back in. Peppers turns, looking for the end zone. Touchdown! Jabril Peppers has been everywhere. They give out a trophy for that sort of thing, Kelly. Red zone, when you have a mobile quarterback, is, is obviously a weapon to use down there. But your mobile quarterback, in this case, is one of the most explosive, dynamic athletes in college football. Michigan does a great job of sealing the edge. Five doesn't need much of an edge. The Jersey boy scores again, his second touchdown as we say hi to Chris Cotter. So they would have not. Third down, Allen to the edge. Peppers in pursuit, and they get there. Delano Hill was there as well, along with Rashawn Gary. Timeout, Michigan. Whoa. Let's hope this is because Michigan had the wrong personnel on the field, right? How many times do you think Michigan's wow. had the wrong personnel on the field tonight? I think that's zero. Well, again, Jim Harbaugh has a great care for the state of New Jersey. He's put up the most first half points against an FBS opponent in 16 years. And nothing there again. This Michigan defensive line. Chris Wormley, Ryan Glasgow. Seniors in that front seven and the two deep in the front seven, as a matter of fact. 
Allen under pressure again and swung down. Taco Charlton gets there early in the half as he did in the first. Looks a lot like his head coach, Jim Harbaugh. O'Corn the toss, and it is Isaac on the run across the 25 for a Michigan first down. 18 months old, so that's the separation between a head coach and quarterback as O'Corn whips it out wide and has a completion across the 15-yard line as Michigan will get the second string guys some run here in the second half. So this is very valuable time for John O'Corn. It's Eddie McDoom, the freshman in motion. O'Corn flips it out wide and he's got a completion to the end zone. Touchdown, Hill. He normally does it from a yard away. This time he's out in the flat for a score. And you notice that O'Corn isn't coming in and just handing the ball off for the next two quarters. He's coming in and running the offense. And in this case, it was Khalid Hill just getting out into the flat, running a shallow crossing route, and nobody covers him. And O'Corn finds him, throws the ball accurately, which allows the big fullback to get in the end zone. Well, a Michigan alumnus may be the best example contemporarily of next man up at the quarterback position. Tom Brady in for Drew Bledsoe. He's made a career of it. O'Corn talking to Spate in the second half, doing it with the arm. O'Corn to Hill on a touchdown for Michigan. He's fifth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, however, That's would. where we ought to be going as a country. Florida State in danger of going to 0 and 3 in ACC play. Another big gash in the run game for Michigan. Evans finds daylight, and Chris Evans with a breakout game tonight in his freshman season for Michigan. Michigan offensively has a diverse group of running backs to use, and Chris Evans is more of the speed element in the backfield. On the ground again, Higdon seeking the end zone. And a touchdown, Karan Higdon for Michigan. That is the sixth rushing touchdown tonight for the Michigan Wolverines. And the lead now 57 to nothing, a week after Rutgers lost 58 to nothing. Don't go to bed before the Rutgers game is over in case of possible cannon fire. First play, quarter number four. It is the USC transfer, Ty Isaac, with a first down for Michigan. He did the same thing. I think his presence and his ability to recruit, obviously his corresponding success. And one more touchdown for Michigan. On the dive, Bobby Henderson giving the fullback a rushing touchdown. Number seven today on the ground for Michigan. Point number 64, Ryan Tice, the second kicker we've seen after Allen was on extra point duty for most of the evening. 64-0 Michigan. They've outdone Urban from last week against the Scarlet Knights. Play each other late in the season and undefeated. Curious what your thought is after seeing this defense against what Ohio State has on the offense and the speed in the perimeter. Allen flushed out and drilled. Well, Kark, if both teams can hold serve until that time, I don't that's pitching and now. He wasn't after. wearing khakis back in those days either. Higdon in as the tailback, and he runs right by the oncoming pressure. Higdon to the end zone. There is the school record tying eighth rushing touchdown for the Wolverines. the Wolverines are putting on a display in a state that they like to come to to pick up some players. Karan Higdon, the Floridian, finds the end zone. Big 10. As Rutgers is still going for that first first down of the day. And across the 30, there it is. Sneed on the run. Does get Rutgers its first first down. 
It's a 12-yard run. And a raucous cheer and some hug. Michigan putting the finishing touches on a win. And this is a school record waiting to happen. Ty Isaac with the touchdown, the ninth on the ground for Michigan tonight. Ty Isaac is 6'3", 230, with a, a pretty interesting skill set because you would think downhill pounder type of guy, which he can get through that second level, but then he has a burst. We've seen it multiple times tonight, but we've seen it even in prior games. 1939, the University of Chicago provided very little resistance for the Michigan ground attack, as you may recall if you watched it live on microfiche. 78 nothing. Scarlet Knight shut out back-to-back -back weeks. First time in eight years that's happened in the FBS. It was Washington State in 2008, but the Michigan Wolverines were a staunch opponent tonight. They were upset here two years ago. Nothing close this evening. 78 nothing, the largest margin of victory since 1940 for the Wolverines. Michigan remains undefeated. 6-0, Rutgers drops to 2-4. 78 nothing, your final score.